A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Jesus told them a story showing that it was necessary for them to pray consistently and never quit. He said, There was once a judge in some city who never gave God a thought and cared nothing for people. A widow in that city kept after him. My rights are being violated. Protect me. He never gave her the time of day. But after this went on and on, he said to himself, I care nothing what God thinks, even less what people think. But because this widow won't quit badgering me, I did better do something to see what she gets justice. Otherwise, I'm going to end up beaten black and blue by her pounding. Then the master said, Do you hear what the judge, corrupted as he is, is saying? So what makes you think God won't step in and work justice for his chosen people, who continue to cry out for help? Won't he stick up for them? I assure you, he will. He will not drag his feet. But how much of that kind of persistent fate will the Son of Man find on earth when he returns? The Gospel of the Lord Good morning, let's listen to a short reflection according to St. Luke chapter 18 verses 1 to 8. Prayer aligns us with God's timing. In today's Gospel, Jesus illustrates, through the parable of the persistent widow and the unjust judge, that our prayer life requires faithfulness and trust, even when answers are delayed or unclear. Jesus assures us that God, who is infinitely just and loving, hears the cries of his people. This message encourages us not to lose heart, no matter how long we wait or how difficult our circumstances are. Luke's Gospel emphasizes the centrality of prayer in Jesus' life. Luke presents Jesus as someone constantly turning to God, whether in solitude or in moments of decision, gratitude, or agony. This is a reminder that prayer is not only about asking for things but about staying in communion with God, allowing His presence to shape our actions and thoughts. The parable reminds us that the power of prayer is not in external results but in our alignment with God's will and our openness to His timing. We may not always see immediate answers, but prayer keeps us grounded in faith and hope, trusting that God is working, even in unseen ways. Prayer, then, becomes less about asking and receiving and more about living in awareness of God's loving presence in every moment of our lives. This teaching challenges us to see people and situations through a lens of patience, resilience, and compassion. As we persist in prayer, we grow in our ability to persevere in love, just as the widow persevered in her pursuit of justice. Jesus' example shows us that real prayer transforms us, enabling us to live in deeper harmony with God and each other. Do you know someone who doesn't know the traditional prayers but speaks with God throughout the day? How does their way of relating to God inspire you?